Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's Marvin speaking. We're going to get um, straight into some messages uh, which are very, very interesting people. Very interesting. So we're going to go to uh, someone who says, I've been curious about the possible Masonic ritualistic satanic aspect of this case Lucy Law uh, Luciferic Law interesting I wonder if Lucy has always been called Law or is it a relative um, relatively recent change question mark question mark A Slater is a level attained in Freemasonry like carpenter, tiler, etc. Jay was an apprentice bricklayer. Potter, paper, Potter is another mason masonic level. Rocky could be a code for a stone, for stone. Quasim is pronounced Cussim. He's certainly been cussed right now. Mar Maruba translate as a plant uh, called Quasia Amra. Quasine, question mark, question mark, what are the chances of that? Masker, masquerade, or mask, question mark, question mark. Brad said he could tell that Jay was on stones. I could be reaching here a little, but I'm not so sure. Cheers, Marvin. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, people, let me know what you think of that. Moving on. Someone went on to say, I think Mark could be working for AUP in this instant. Let me know what you think, people. He could have been bought to um, to uh, bought in two muddy waters, which he did. It's true. I, you know, I do actually think something scared him off because he was supposed to come up with more information, but we haven't seen it. And I'm just going to read that again. Uh, this is a message 15 hours ago. I think Mark could be working for Ray up in this instance. Who thinks that? Let me know. Question mark. He could have been brought into muddy the waters, which he did. He sure did. We need to move on uh, from the watch. I think it's a red herring. Herring. I think a lot of people knows that. Also, Jay looks like um, like he's loaded up upon Valium originally. Uh, I've said that. I I think he was um, seriously overdosed, and I think I thought he was gumming off ecstasy, but it looked like uh, tranquilized. They are called hypocrites. They make you suggestible. And I saw some footage showing a lad hiding under a sunbed from a group of lads, uh, then giving them the slip. But I can't seem to find it now. Was this just before the stabbing on the beach? I mean, the beach now we know has been mentioned so, so many times. We move on to say, wow, having followed this case from the beginning, I'm in no doubt that Tom Hilton has orchestrated uh, this whole thing for quite some time. It takes a cold and calculated and cu a cunning mindset to put something like this. There's so much uh, characters involved, it really is quite scary. That's what I've said. Over the recent weeks, it's got weirder and weirder and darker and darker and darker as well. And these obviously two videos that I've put out today have actually proved it. Tom's been out there a long, uh, out there a long, probably watching from the sidelines, just counting down to Jay's uh, murking from the very beginning. I don't believe the story of the watch, as nobody saw it. It's an excuse they used it to get us the public to believe that Jay went to mask to sell, and it's a divert away from this. I agree, it's happened on the beach. Lucy uh, got Jay to the beach, hence why she screamed. You didn't. Uh, you didn't say you were uh, going to to him. He was set up from there, uh, then transported into a car uh, with Tom posing um, as Jay. Snapchat post regarding the watch. I think Jay was put on the boat. 
He never made it into Masca. Brad and Lucy did, though. Yeah, to get the narrative correctly right. This is interesting, very interesting, people. Please listen to this carefully. Have seen another scene of the beach. Not sure if it's straight after the incident. In the bottom right-hand corner of the CCTV, you could see someone run into the corner and change their T-shirt. Then someone else comes out of the shadow. Was this Tom putting on Jay's T-shirt uh, for the next part of the plan? The photo in the car. Look, we've seen these uh, scenarios of the beach come out. It's questioned that this video was nine years old. Whoever put that out there, that is rubbish. Um, there's two videos out there on CT CCTV. I only thought it was one. But it, it, there's definitely two, and I'll tell you why um, in a little while. Someone else said, me too. You see the lad that was limping and something thrown into the sea. Haven't seen that video since. That video's out there. I think I've got it somewhere. And if I can dig it out, um, I'll definitely do a video on it. It could be that uh, taking him into the car didn't even happen at all. And that could be just the story they want us to believe. It could be he was taken off the beach, on the boat, to the cliff side via water. He never stepped foot in that Airbnb because all the pictures are, are, are lies and they made up after the fact they probably planned. But in that last message, that's kind of smart. The people that the, 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 the Airbnb were Lucy and Brad and possibly a few others. Stabber and a couple of others, I think. In a short space of time, the only the only then started with Lucy's phone call. It could be that every single piece of information given to us is completely not true, and the reason they are swaying us away from the boat, beach, etc., because they want to hide the facts of the beach boat. So they're pushing that story as the narrative. That was brilliant. That's very very true. I think that as well. The other thing is, is ask yourself this now at the end of the day because the people that are actually saying you know he fell he fell he fell this is the story don't believe anything else um that tells me a lot whose side they're on and where they are and it tells me they know a lot more someone else said maybe jay never uh was in the airbnb maybe it happened around the apartment or nearby and someone hidden uh, uh hidden body then dump in ravine. Sorry, some <laughs> do forgive me. Some of the wording is not great. More videos would help, especially C C T V recording is also stored off the internet up to one year. Motive Hilton thing, but Brandon's cousin Davis was one of those eight. I reckon they were. Um, there was a plan for some level of revenge uh, for the attack and also for Jay going to the police. So it's a double whammy. I don't think Tom's taking the bag was the plans, taking the bag and doing whatever. But, you know, when he looked up, he looked shocked to see that person. But a lot of people do think that was Tom. The private detef detective, NWT, was there from day one. His information was from the family, friends, and he was repeating what he was told from the lies he first mentioned. Criminality, he opened a can of worms. He told the Spanish police and UK police uh, he has spoke no more, either threatened or scared off. I said that from day one. I reckon he was. I reckon he knew what was going on. Uh, at the end of the day, wow. Someone went else to say, wow, the freezer bit, and someone looking down on him sent shivers through me. That was weird. That was really strange, and that is a massive possibility. Uh, that theory. Although there's people in the club filming on their phone surely somebody has more footage why has nobody come forward probably people have got um footage but are, are, are too squared too scared to actually say anything don't forget you've got to remember many people have said it in the videos what stays what happens in tenerife stays in tenerife the fella in the car double of the fella uh tom looks at curtis and fringe exact same Lucy said she left the NRG early and went home. She was woken at 8.30, uh, woken up at 8.30am by Jay saying he was lost. 
had no water and was cut by a cactus. Lucy could not be in bed and on the beach earlier 5am was the time when they came to collect the bags. Interesting. Um, I think that's the, the top guys. This person's on a bit there. I watched the video on true crime. Uh, that's not Jay in the picture with the glasses, which we know now this has been taken apart. And good black though. Good black because like I said, uh, a lot of people uh, didn't didn't really look at it or didn't see any fault in that until the last couple of days. Let's move on. Someone says exactly above and you can see them them all in the club watching him. This is strange. A lot of people are misinterpreting um, what um, what's happening. Uh, to be honest with you, yes, there are people taking the pictures, but what I'm saying is the people who actually know Jay are just constantly looking um, at him and smiling and laughing and giggling. There's too much attention on him, and it makes me feel nervous. So, and it went on to say, this person wanted to know, especially the lad in the white T-shirt. I think this could be the guy they call Stabber. He has no chance. They all knew what was coming. I don't think there was a watch or that he was selling drugs. I think um, his drinks were spikes. I do too, guys. I really, really do. Because don't forget, um, the waitress in the club um, said... Um, got him some water because he didn't seem like he was in a good place. I think they were laughing at him because he was deteriorating fast and they knew that they could take him out of the club and deal with him. They all knew and not one stopped it or got him help. How do all these people be involved, live with themselves? He was just a young boy about to finish his apprenticeship and begin his adult life. So very sad. I thought that was a brilliant point. I really do. Right, this is interesting. Did Ayab only book the B&B to link up with uh, contacts to could help dispose of the body? See you no know the reason why they went there at all if Jay was taken to, um, to a boat straight away. It was an obvious, it, it was a front, the Airbnb, um, so they can um, concoct a story. Uh, whether Jay's body was there, dead or alive, is still debatable. There's a possibility they may have had him in a, um, uh, a freezer. In, in the basement of one of those apartments or around the back somewhere if the beach video the beach video is genuine i get the impression that lucy arrived uh, on the scene after the altercation and saw something she did not expect this is a real sense of shock and horror to in her voice yes that's what makes it real and and, and runs as an honest narrative and um, this is important people this is the point i was going to make there's two stretches of this piece. This was the main point of this video. This person who messaged me, I know that stretch of beach very well. It is Player La Vistas. It is the stretch of beast, beach that links Player Las Americas and Los Cristianos. Player to the right, Los Cristianos to the left. It is much quieter stretch of shops and bars than at Player, and before the town of Los Cristianos, which is residential. That makes me think Jay was actually walking back to Los Cristianos to his apartment. This fills him with great sadness. Did he head back to his apartment and get set upon on the route? Poor Jay. And this is why I said in my video, why it weren't a lot of people about at that time and this person has come up brilliantly with it it is a stretch of beat that links player las americas and los cristianos i'm reading it again people player to the right los cristianos to the left it is a much quieter stretch of shops and bars than at player and before the town of los cristianos which is residential that makes me think Jay was actually walking back to Los Cristianos to his apartment. And he was set upon. Uh, because like I said, people could not, in quiet areas on the beach, people can, can hide. They didn't see so many people. And like I said, if that was Lucy voice um, shouting, which many people believe, 
and I believe it tells us a lot. There didn't seem that many people about. The people that were only there were involved, Jay and the obviously the people who knew him, Lucy, Brad. I don't know whether Brandon was there and Aeth, I think, uh, was actually brought in to actually change the narrative. I actually don't think that um, um, he, he actually injured Jay, but I was think he was there to help his mate Lucy and the others uh, basically concoct a story so they can all go home. And what they were thinking is, is that case was gonna be closed and nobody will still be talking about it today. Wow, wow. I'm just gonna read that part again. This fills me, this person said this fills me with great sadness. Did he head back to his apartment and get set upon en route, poor Jane? And I've not heard that before. And I thought that was really crucial um, into this case. So this could have been, it's pe people are right, because people have said any time from two to, two to four, or um, two to four, it could be in that time period where um, he tried to get back home. Because uh, like I said, um, didn't someone say he wasn't feeling good at all? Try to get back home and that's when they set upon him. Or he probably collapsed a few times and stuff. And that's where I think he was attacked and stabbed at that time. Let me know what you think, people. But also, um, someone mentioned that there's t um, t that the, the beach video, there's two separate videos on that. Two separate videos on that. And don't forget, people, these videos were brought out just after um, Jay went missing and they were taken down by um, Tenerife police but before that they were shared and shared and shared that's why you do see clips of these videos about don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and let me know your thoughts um, I guess the you know the two parts of the beach tells a massive story to me that the quiet part where Jay uh, could have been set upon and it's a lot quieter which is really really strange but uh, like I said hopefully we're getting to know what really really happened to Jay but the more I look into it the sicker and sicker and sad it really really gets um, for this poor boy justice for Jay and thank you for everyone to, to subscribe to the channel I appreciate you and hopefully um, we will get to the bottom of this.